Let's do a check-in now on the Phoenix Suns from a fantasy point of view. Devin Booker out with a hamstring, probably going to be missing a couple of weeks of action here. Changes in their starting lineup uh, with McCall Bridges in there now. Ali Okobo is going to be starting in place of uh, Devin Booker moving forward. Okobo has been up and down in his couple of big games recently, but I still do believe that he is a must-roster 12-team league guy who should be a top 150 guy for the rest of the season. I also think that McCall Bridges yeah, should be able to be a top 150 guy as well. I would probably prioritize a Kobo over Bridges in terms of who I'm adding. Bridges is just really low usage at the moment, and his value, much like Jonathan Isaac of the Magic, is going to really come from those low volume categories, which can be a hit or miss. The steals and blocks is what I'm talking about there. A Kobo would be a guy that I'm looking looking to add for this team. One guy who has been really performing well is Rashawn Holmes, the 80th ranked player over the last two weeks. It's on the back of some probably unsustainable numbers. 18 minutes a night, 1.1 steals, 2.1 blocks, and 69% from the field. His value is really coming from that huge block total and those field, that field goal percentage, numbers which are far away from what he's really done throughout his career. So while he can be a streaming option, I'd rather his former Philadelphia team at New Orleans Noel if I'm looking to stream in defensive numbers. And I think that this little run from Holmes is pretty clearly going to cool off. But of course, if DeAndre Ayton gets injured, then Rashawn is going to have a tremendous amount of value. A Trevor Ariza, also a top 100 player over the last couple of weeks. He's fine for 12-team leagues, while Josh Jackson has value as long as Tony Warren Jr. is sidelined. Jackson has improved from a really poor start to the season, but field goal percentage is going to be an issue with him, and I just don't don't think the minutes are necessarily going to quite be high enough to maintain season-long value for uh, for Joshy Jackson. Um, Bridges, Bridges is the guy who's really disappointing at the moment, who I think that you can have a look at. I'd be adding him in all 16-team leagues and just keeping a watch on anything shallower at this point with a Kobo being the preference for the Phoenix Suns.